Possums, Dramer Smith here on Vastin, which just, whoops, grows and grows and grows. I marked out this gatehouse a week and a half, two weeks ago, something like that. And now Fix has done the gatehouse on his base and things have expanded over that way and over that way and, oh, <laughs> So let's get building on this gatehouse. I just did a little culvert over there. You saw the time lapse for it. We need to build the gatehouse for the northern wall. This is based on my medieval defensive walls and gates. There'll be a tutorial for that linked in the description. I'm going to grab some stone. We're going to get building. Well, that was the outside. That was some of the outside. I've built more of the outside. Quite a bit more. <laughs> but uh, I didn't record some of it, even though I thought I did. And some of the rest of the footage had a problem. So two more towers on the walls. We've got walkways. We've got crenellations. We've got all this, I'll show you all this, and of course the towers have insides. So this is the very tippy top, and they're all the same, although that one has got an extra floor. Hello night time. So this is our topmost room, you can see down over what will be the town. We've got arrow loops looking out into the fields to the other side of the bridge. We've got arrow loops that look down into the gatehouse. We'll get to the gatehouse. Uh, another little room. This is access to the gatehouse. And two arrow loops looking over the main gate to the other side of the bridge. And then we come down again and we've got another room. This one comes out onto the wall. Had a wall. And come down again. This one will come out onto a walkway which will give access to arrow loops in the wall. Because we're all about defence here. And then little lookouts and yeah there is a ladder and then we can come out 
into the gatehouse itself or through here into what will actually be a courtyard of some sort. Now this is the gate and we've got two portcullises. So if they manage to break through the gates and the first portcullis we can drop the second portcullis and that gives them more things to break through and then they've got to deal with all that up in the gatehouse. So we'll go through the wicket gate which is a little door in a main gate so that people can come and go without constantly having to open the main gates and we'll come into the second tower as I said this has got one extra room so this looks exactly the same but it's one room down and we'll come up and we've got a little storage room again and this will come out onto another walkway again with arrow loops in the wall so we come up into another room which goes into the gatehouse oh and all these rooms that look out to the town also look out to the fields so we may as well have a look at the gatehouse we can come up here uh, this is the access to the arrow loops We've got access to a lower level here. Not, oh yeah, so that we can fire down on people if they've broken through the gates. Before they can get into the towers, we can sit here and drop things on them or fire on them. And then we come up here into the gatehouse. And yes, it's very tall because we have to accommodate the portcullises when they're raised. I've been working on Crimson Trapdoors. This is my own little add-on resource pack. Everyone else, it just looks like Crimson Trapdoors. I've got the shape right. I haven't changed the colour yet. I haven't finished the lighting. I want it to look a bit more sort of irony and not purple woody. <laughs> but we need a trapdoor that's a grate because the iron trapdoors in the Vastin Texture Pack don't look like a grate. They're flat across the top. Enough of that. We've got trapdoors that you can drop open and we've got gravity blocks which can fall on the heads of your enemies. Except they won't because the trapdoors will keep them up. <laughs> I could put rubble here or logs. They did that. I might actually swap these out for rubble and logs given that they're not going to move anyway. We've got cauldrons of water. Now, I know people say, oh, pitch and tar. Boiling pitch and tar, that's going to work. It's going to stick. It's going to burn. But at a time when infection was rife, boiling water will do the job just as well. It's a darn sight cheaper. It's easier to get hold of. And you're going to at least incapacitate them, if not kill them from shock. And if they survive that, they're going to get infections. They're going to die. So that gets tipped out into here and down on everyone's heads. Lovely. <laughs> so then we've got little steps up and this is my stick the ladders on the back of track doors trick so that you've got a very very thin profile ladder. I love that trick. And we come into another room. This is possibly a storeroom, I'm not sure. And Yet again, looking out over the city, looking out over the fields, looking into the gatehouse. So if the gatehouse is taken, they've still got problems. And as I said, we can walk along the walls. We've got machicolations. So people get right up against the walls doing nefarious things. We can drop things down on them. We can fire down on them. See, straight through. Woohoo! And up into another defensive tower, which is exactly the same as all the others. Oh, except I haven't added a step stone here. I'll have to. Oh, Morgan slept. Thanks, Morgan. And there'll probably be... Oh. Yeah, no one loves you. Or you. 
it's a tough spider. There's probably going to be another defensive tower. Ah! Don't you dare! Yeah, there needs to be light on this wall. That's the next thing I've got to do, light it up. There's probably going to be another defensive tower. Yeah, about here. Right. Now, why, you may ask, are there holes in the backs of the towers and in the backs and sides of these towers? Believe it or not, that's actually an added defence. Well, ah, we'll go this way. I do have to add lighting along the walls. So yeah, we're going to have arrow loops about there on those walls along there and same along here. So imagine the enemy has managed to take this tower. I've got no backs on it, which means this tower offers them very little cover. I'm considering removing the crenellations at the top of the tower at the back and leaving them at the front. But you've got enemies in there trying to fire down at us and a decent archer can fire straight in at them. And with the portcullis down, we can fire at any that are up there. And I'll pop up the top again. Oh yeah, we've got arrow loops here looking down into the gatehouse. They're not much use at the moment because the gates are open. You'd be able to fire down into that area between the two portcullises. So we've got them trapped. We can drop things on them from above and we can fire on them from the sides. So you can see them there and there. And believe me, there's the same on that side, but that gate's fully open. And the gates are simple. Spruce planks and barrels and blackstone buttons. I like how it looks. I'm thinking of adding a ballista or something up here, raising it up and putting a ballista on the top. Or, oh no, put ballistas on top of those. That would be a cool thing. We'll see if I get around to it. But no, I'm thinking of removing these crenellations so that again there'd be no protection at the back. But you come on top of the whole gatehouse and you notice there's no crenellations here either. You know, enemies would want to keep the portcullis down so we'd be able to fire in through those windows and if they got up here and tried to fire in anyone in the town, they're sitting ducks to be picked off. I, I like how it looks. But we've got a bridge here. So the bridge is partly stone and partly wood. We'll run over here and I'll show you. I don't know what happened in the north, but at some point the city felt threatened. So you've got this. Oh, I like how that looks actually. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Sorry, sorry. We've got a stone framework to the bridge, stone supports in the middle, and then we've got wood underneath. And the reason for the wood underneath is, let's say there's an army camped here. Not right here, but, you know, on those hills or something. And the people in the town are a bit worried about, is the portcullis in the gate going to be quite enough? So they can set fire to the wooden sections of the bridge and make it just that much harder for an army to approach the gates and take us on. But when all the threat was from the north, I think that was a while ago. Because, look at this, the river has silted up. There's dirt that's piled up against the walls and eventually become a bit more of a hill than there was. There hasn't been any maintenance done, nothing dug out, nothing to keep this safe. I think it's been a while since there's been a threat. I'll have to ask Fix and the other Vastineers if there's any law about this. I feel like there should be. Something definitely happened to the north 
some time ago. But I really like how this is looking. I think it's suitably impressive. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I still have to finish this bridge. I've got to put railings on. I want to put braziers here and there. But I don't know where the iron farm is. I know we've got one. <laughs> I had to ask where the turtle farm and the chorus fruit farm were because I didn't know where they'd shifted to. Ah, oh, that's looking good. I'm just sorry so much of it was done without you able to look. Although, I mean, let's face it, those towers would just repeat the same. And there'll be another one about there. Because what I want to do is this is going to be like a little barracks area and same over the other side with a little training ground and you'll have the walkway all the way around with the arrow loops and you'll have lean-tos and houses and some buildings and it'll finish about level with that and a little courtyard here and pretty much the same over here little courtyard barracks tower there. I'm happy with the gatehouse. I'll be happier when I get the little barracks areas done. And I'll be happier when I get those the right colour. It's a bit odd at the moment with the pink, isn't it? <laughs> Next time I'll be outstanding in the thaumaturgical field. In the meantime, there's end cards on the screen linking to some more of my videos. I'm going to Go start getting things together for the field bill. I'll see you next time. Bye.